on today's episode of The Game Chasers. You got a Bigfoot horse hybrid walking around now? There's no way this is a game. What is there, a pandemic going on? But it's something like this. <laughs> I'd, I'd burn the McDonald's down. What do we got, how many? I don't even know why I bought this. I put air freshers in my truck and it still smelled like shit for three weeks after that. <laughs> it was that rancid. And it, Weren't and you and Billy the ones farting in that dude's basement? <laughs> no, that was just Billy. That was just and Billy? Was, no. Billy. No. No. That was it. No, I did that was not. I don't, you went I'm up the you, I, I'm not going to do nasty no, like that. No, it's on video. House. It's on video. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's I'm not. glad we're able to start getting out and looking for games again. It's a perfect weekend for it. Well, except for the heat, obviously, but that's just what you deal with here in Texas. So let's go hit a couple of flea markets this weekend. Hotter than Satan's sphincter hole. So we're coming back to a flea market we have visited before. One of the main reasons is because one of the vendors out here had a cocktail, I believe it was Space Invaders arcade machine. <laughs> This is this is this is what happens in the apocalypse, you know. Uh, the one store we want to actually go to is so close down. It has nothing to do with the apocalypse. He's apparently only here on Sundays anyway. You think we'd know better at this point? It's looking pretty bleak. Not a lot of people are open, and the people that are open, like I hate to tell them this, but they just need to rent a dumpster and throw. Away, it's not even worth buying. What'd you find? Please help. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Might be nothing, but uh, it looks like there's a tub of uh, toys. So I spy with my little eye this uh, tub full of well, colorful things. It looks like uh, there might be something in here. So I asked the lady to see it. So I don't know what it is. So one thing Billy does come across is a small stash of, of McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Uh, yeah, McDonald's. These are old McDonald's toys. And Maniacs, some good feathers. That's pretty cool. Going to McDonald's as a kid was just an, an, an event. It was it was just one of the coolest things. I remember like getting the Dukes of Hazzard toys and uh, these little plastic trains and stuff. I, I it was just so cool. All the all the good toys that came in Happy Meals are old school. They don't have they don't. No one puts in toys anymore. Uh, 1995. Aladdin. Recess. Still like that show. Yeah, you know pissed off. I'd be if I was eight, nine, ten years old. Went to go get a Happy Meal and I pulled a fucking book out of the Happy Meal box. I'd be like, what the fuck is this? I'd, I'd burn the McDonald's down. So I have a lot of good memories of going to McDonald's. I'm kind of fizzled out in the 90s, and I think that's what these toys are here. Um, just, a, just a bunch of 90s toys. Still cool, but not really up my alley. Nothing that I would ever get nostalgic for, so I'm gonna pass. Uh, I personally, I have these. I don't need them. Mm. However, what she does have is a horse head, and I have been looking for one of these horse heads forever, because I think they're, I think they're awesome. It's a horse head that you could put on you and and be a, like a horse person. No video games? Like no, what? sir. I don't like it. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I bet you better not get me. That sounds like such a redneck thing. Like, it shouldn't be me buying, like, the costume horse head. I actually remember listening to this episode of Coast to Coast and, like, there was these... These people that thought that they were like literal horses in human bodies, and uh, I was, I was, what, what is that? And that was like from the '90s. It was, I don't know what they were called themselves. I don't think they, I don't think they called themselves horse people, but they, they, they literally thought they were horse people. Um, I mean, that's, it's, I guess it's commonplace now in 2020, but back in the '90s, it was like, what's wrong with them? 
That's why game chasing go. Sometimes you got to get a horse head. <laughs> Billy is the true redneck. Look at my cousin. Majestic is. You got a, a, a Bigfoot horse hybrid walking around now, so. Haha. -ha. Okay, so uh, not much luck here at this flea market, uh, but the big one is just down the street, so we're gonna go hit that one. Balls, 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 There's a lot more people here. There actually looks like there's uh, some form of civilization at this flea market versus the last one. Watch out for skeletons. So individually priced records um, are usually a bad thing. But don't mean don't look. I always look for records because uh, I love music. I, I don't look for rare records. I look for stuff I like, artists I like, 80s rock, 80s, 90s rap, um, that kind of stuff. So even even 80s, 80s pop. It's just a form of media I never got into when I was younger, and I've just kind of got into it now. a lot of junk at this flea market it's a lot of people that uh, have just their booths are full of junk and uh, that's I like that I like digging that looks like somebody took their garage and just put it in here oh boom you see a little display full of Game Boy games now she knows there's value in these Game Boy games because they're in a display granted but they're all only five dollars a piece really crazy it's probably no point in wearing a mask if you touching it um the, no 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 the, the simpsons i would say it's literally been uh, uh seven eight months since i bought a video game at a flea market probably the longest i've gone without buying a game at the flea market since we've been shooting the show nine years i gotta break i gotta break i, I like I'm, I'm 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 busting at the seams here i've got to buy something and while Treehouse of Horrors on the Game Boy, The Simpsons, is not the greatest game in the world. I don't have it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a good day. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's a good. It's not good. It's okay. It's it's. Is there really any good Simpsons games out there? Like any at all? Uh, don't think so. I have nostalgia for Space Mutants, but it doesn't make it a good game. Treehouse of Horrors, and you be the judge. Getting it though. I know I don't have this, and uh, so it's like, why not? I haven't got a game at the flea market in a very long time. I wanted to get something. 99% of my Game Boy experience is playing Tetris. Game Boy games. So Chris finds this uh, box full of games for a dollar. That sounded a lot better than what it really was. Ugh. No, the whole box wasn't a dollar. Stupid. I like the OG Xbox collection of games, and they're out there, and they're normally in the boxes with the manuals, and in pretty decent shape, and you can pick them up pretty cheap. So the games are a dollar a piece. Honestly, in this day and age, any game for a dollar is a game for a dollar, um, especially if it's not a sports title. So, you know what? Good on Chris. I hope he picks these up, adds them to his collection. It's like a voice from an angel. When you hear, when you hear somebody say, dollar games. <laughs> uh, Crimson Skies is good. Do you have an Xbox? Yeah. I'm going to take this game, and I'm going to get this game. Chris finds some stuff. I I, I don't so much. Uh, nothing really here that I want, but Chris finds Crimson Skies, which is very good. It's a good Xbox game. Uh, I love flying games, and this is, you're in an airplane, you're, you're flying, you're shooting things, the skies are crimson. It's good It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, mm, but for a dollar, it's even better. A PlayStation 2 still demo disc. 
I got Crimson Skies, uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 on PS2, and then uh, Home Run King on GameCube complete. Dollar piece? Dollar piece. That's not bad. Dollar piece. I wish they had more stuff. Is that the winds of change blowing that I'm here, that I'm feeling right now? Like, this is going to be a good day. We're finding games for a dollar pop right now. So, and this might turn out. It's much better than having somebody with their games laid out and you see, oh, 15, 20, 5, 7. Not this flea market. No. You dig through a box of crap and everything you pull out is a dollar. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. Hey, you shut up. While Chris and Billy are off looking for games, I spy with my little brown eye a Happy Days uh, board game. $3? I'll do $3 on that. Why not? Hold that real quick. I gotta see how much money I actually have on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you had none. When I tried, yeah, I tried to ask him for money. That's why I was told to look at him. Hey, Chris, give me a dollar. <laughs> I would say I'm a Happy Days fan. Yeah, I grew up watching Happy Days. I'm probably not as big a fan as Billy. Everyone expects you to save the Fonz. Oh, I'm the Fonz. Whatever. Nobody, nobody's the Fonz. Okay, the Fonz is the Fonz. I'm not the Fonz. I'm sure when Jay does his interviews, he's going to say he's the Fonz. In this group, I'm definitely Fonzarelli. I I'm the Fonz. Is it complete? I have no idea. I don't have to. I'm buying it anyway. I made for $3. Why not? I, I don't even care if it's complete. I got to pick this up for $3. I, ha I, I like old board games. I have a collection of old board games. I have a collection of so much crap, it's not even funny. It feels normal now. It feels like this is the first time in a long time it's actually felt normal. At the flea market, um, sure, occasionally you're rolling across someone who has a mask on. It's still kind of weird, like, well, well, what's going on here? What is our pandemic going on? So we go to this next booth, and uh, yeah, there's a bunch of PS1 games. Commons, but still, they seem to be in pretty decent connect connection there's an, this is an Xbox 360 and these bomb two are Wii but I want all these PS1 games PS1 goodness and decent jewel cases that aren't broken to crap and manuals and non scratch discs yeah I'm checking games I'm checking cases I don't want to talk about it He's checking the cases. I think he learned his lesson. I think he learned his lesson after a few episodes back when he was sitting here trying to rank on everyone that he found some semi-uncommon game and it happened to be a demo disc. Oh, man. That was you, Chris. Hey, what was his face? He said your face. Chris' face. So you can actually go to the, what, last episode and get a better still shot of it, but it's something like this. <laughs> How true is that? Not true at all. Uh, you did it. It's all lies. You did it. I'm a all lies. You and Jay. Because you know how PlayStation discs are. Or you thinking you got something. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta talk to the senorita and see how much she wants for these games. Because there's some titles in there I want. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real big whore right now for PS1 games. I, I like. I gotta beef up my PS1 collection. I hardly, I hardly have them because they're so hard to freaking find, not scratched to oblivion. So what are we talking for this, for these? Let me, let me ask you, let me, sure. let me tell my, my, my Sorry, excuse me. Five bucks a piece. Probably. I'm gonna say 10 a piece. PS1 games that are in decent shape, and if I can get them at a decent price, then I'll pick them up, and if she's trying to bend me over then nah else they can stay there 25 for all how many is that let me see what do we got how many five it's five a piece mm, you know is it worth it am i feeling am i feeling a little a little generous today yeah probably well they're complete and they're not scratched to oblivion they're good titles Don't would you take 20 for all yes okay 20 bucks. 20 bucks, 20 bucks. They're, they're good titles, they're, yeah, good, they're titles. good titles. Picked uh, five PS1 games up for uh, 20 bucks. So, I mean, with manuals and the discs are in good shape, like 
20 bucks is a 20 spot. People like to uh, overhype Twisted Metal 2. I don't think it's that great. I don't think Twisted Metal in general is that good. But I think he's, I think he's getting angry that I'm getting the games. I'm really not. <laughs> It's Dollar Game Day apparently today. We ran across another booth with Dollar Games. Do you know what's a good game on Xbox that I want? And it's it's a Red Faction. Dollar Games. I mean, for a dollar each, that That's one thing that I, I kind of want to build up a little bit is the GameCube collection. I, I think I would like to play GameCube games with my son once he gets old enough. So uh, when I've can find like really super cheap GameCube games like Little Nemo. He's a big Little Nemo fan, uh, loves the movies. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up this game. You know, maybe in a couple of years he'd enjoy playing it. So it's for it's a dollar. I might actually get this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Call me slipping on that. <laughs> yep. I think I'll take this for a dollar. Some of the spines weren't even labeled or marked. I was just pulling them out. Like, oh, there's another GameCube game for a dollar. Yes, I'll take that. Mm. Oh, no diss. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Damn it, dude. Seriously? <laughs> now that one, that one legitimately angers me. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. <laughs> Log me out of here, yeah. I'm, just, I'm really just kind of looking to see if there's anything crazy in here. So I look up and I see this box full of Intellivision and Intellivision games and it, it apparently is being sold in a lot. He wants $200 for it. Well, I'm not doing that. These are some of the nicest looking Intellivision games I've, I think I've ever seen. But if there is a game in here, I'm gonna see if he wants to maybe just sell the game separately and all the games in here, even the console itself, very minty. Uh, they look great, especially this copy of Masters of the Universe. Now, Masters of the Universe, it's uh, it's it's not bad. It's actually pretty good on the Intellivision. You're 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 you man, you're running across the screen. You're going, yeah, I'm gonna get you, Skeletor. Um, I, I've I've never played it. That's a really good game. This isn't too common, and it's the box is super clean. Yeah, it is. Look at that. And even on this uh, Masters of the Universe That's here. Awesome. This is great. If I'd really be in, a, he said that he would actually part it. part it, but they said the games would be fifteen to twenty each. So, yeah, no. I, I unfortunately I don't really see anything rare in here because if there was something rare in this thing, that's mainly what I'm looking for to see if any of these games are super rare. Well, that's awesome. It's actually not too terribly unreasonable, two hundred bucks to for this whole pack, yeah. but. I got 90% of it. I got a lot. Of, I mean, I, like I said, I had to find something to blow me away to spend $15 on it. So. I've got this already, but I don't have the little... I find this box of just random random everything in this box. But it's games, but it's random everything. Sewer Shark. Chris has come across the Sewer Shark on the Sega CD. It, it could have been semi-enjoyable. Um, you basically are kind of going through these sewer tunnel kind of things and it's just not a it's not a great game jaguar instruction booklet what what the f well it's just a sega cd in a in, wait, oh. they just put a sega cd in a it's the instruction manual for a Jaguar car on Sega CD. That's kind of obscure, isn't it? Don't, I already know that you're editing this bullshit. I have no, no, none, none, zero zilch nada knowledge of the Sega CD other than the time that I bought the case just to piss Jay off. He was thinking that this was the actual manual to an actual Jaguar on the Sega CD which makes zero sense. Of course you're gonna get a manual. Every car comes with a handbook. It's usually in the glove box. <sighs> and they're never Sega CD branded. They're never, they're never branded with a video game. I, 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 I almost wanna, <sighs> man. 
Jaguar 220 instruction booklet. It's not, there's no way this is a game. Can you imagine that? You go to the dealership to buy a Jaguar, and they're like, here's your instruction manual. Um, it's on a Sega, you have a Sega CD, right? Like everyone has a Sega CD, right? No, I don't have a Sega CD. What? Well, sorry, but that's what the manual's on. We decided to put it on a Sega CD. What? Is it a game or is it? This like... is what happens when you go game chasing with rookies. <laughs> I mean, the disc is just floating around in there, but it's like in perfect shape. <laughs> so, might as well get it. It's five bucks. It's five bucks. For about five minutes, Chris actually believed that the Jaguar company put the user manual for the Jaguar car uh, on a Sega CD. <laughs> uh, for, 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 for God knows what reason. I don't give a shit what anybody says. That shit looked like a user manual for the car. Period. It still does. I still. Where? Where? Where is that piece of? Shit? I don't even think I have it in here. I, it's. I don't know what this case is because it's not a VHS case. F oh, I remember now. But I was like, I don't even want to look at this. It's stupid. It's somewhere in here. Whatever. The game. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. All that matters, all that matters. The, the disc is here somewhere safe. The, this is what was throwing me off. It just it just says Jaguar XD22 instruction booklet, and it's got a picture of the real car. I looked up gameplay of this fucking turd of a game. The whole game is you playing this one car. Who wants... Hey, you just bought a game where you're, you you get to play one model of car the entire game. What? I don't even know why I bought this. I feel like I'm I'm, I'm beating a dead horse. <laughs> uh, but it just feels good to be back outside in the sun looking for video games. We've got super columns. We've got Pac-Man. Once again, another booth that has games and uh, I I grabbed these Sega Game Gear games right underneath Chris's nose and it's glorious. Uh, I saw those Sega Game Gear games before you did and I had already walked past them. What are you asking on the uh, uh, Game Gear? It's the common, super common Sega Game Gear games. I asked to get them for a dollar a piece and she says yes. So a dollar a piece, six dollars for six Sega Game Gear games. It's because I bought all of them, I was able to get them for a dollar a piece. So I don't know which ones I have, so screw it, I'll just get them all. I think it kept slipping. What, they were like dollar games. Buy them, I didn't have any money to buy them left because you had all my money, remember? <laughs> You know what, while there wasn't a bunch of like AAA titles, a bunch of rare games, not even really uncommon games found, there was still a bunch of games found at a really good price. It's easier to have a little luck looking for video games out in the middle of nowhere in these kind of flea markets for us. That's why we drive so far now when we want to go out. I've got sweat running down my back into my ass crack and I have full blown swamp ass. And it's very, very hot. Being the victor again, you know, dollar games, I, I, I'm, I know I've picked up more games than anybody else today, so. Jaguar 220 instruction booklet. No, you don't. Go to sleep. It's off, man. Oh, God. All right, it's been a long, hot day at the flea market. We've had some good finds. We're going to go somewhere where we know we can find some stuff because, honestly, at a store, there's always stuff to be found. Uh, we're going to Retro Madness. They just opened up a second location not too long ago. The great thing about Retro Madness, games and toys. So you can't go wrong with old school games and old school toys at the same location. And so, uh, you know, I'm always at home whenever I go into this location or the one in North Richland Hills. I think North Richland Hills or Hearst or wherever it is that we usually go to. So this is actually one of 
uh, funny enough, one of the toys I'm most looking for right now. It's a, I guess you would call it Vehicle Force Voltride. Or, but uh, this is, I don't know if it's is this exact one that I had, but it was, it was pretty close. So I'm looking through the Game Boy case. What? <laughs> what was that? I bought one Game Boy game today already. Maybe maybe I should end the day on a Game Boy game as well. I was gonna maybe think about possibly getting this, uh, this is Simon Belmont, Castlevania 2. <laughs> Belmont's Revenge, yeah. I actually used to have this game, but I lost it. Uh, I got it at a convention. I believe it was Retropalooza, Houston. Uh, actually, one of my friends gave it to me. Um, and, uh, it, it, well, and now there's a ghost messing with the lights. Did you see that? It was a ghost. I find a Pee Wee's Playhouse sealed VHS tape. I'm in on it. I love Pee Wee's Playhouse growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, G Xbox. Looked around Retro Madness, didn't find any Turtles figures that I really liked. I didn't find any games that I really liked. And not to not Retro Madness, it just, it just wasn't my day there. Uh, so this is definitely a game that I need. Don't have it. Lots of stuff in there. Lots of good toys, but try not to blow my wad like these two are apparently blowing their wad on each other. <laughs> Hadn't been able to go out a whole lot lately, so it's refreshing to go out and actually find some things, uh, be it a flea market, be it a store, or whatever. Um, make sure you guys get out there, support your local vendors, support your mom and pop shops. Do that because you need stuff and they need to pay rent. I was afraid that I'd have to end this episode saying, oh, it was all about just going out and, you know, the friendship and the, uh, the camaraderie and uh, the smiles and the fun and all that stuff. Screw all that. We found games for cheap. This generation's crap. This generation, I hope a giant meteor hits this earth and just wipes us all out. Just get it over with already. This, this is crap. head so I can be a horse person. <laughs>